Welcome to Second Earth Alternative. This is your host, Felipe Osorio. So today I want to discuss something that we don't usually discuss, but it's just as pressing as UFO secrecy. I'm talking about artificial intelligence. Now, if you think that AI is just some Hollywood fantasy perpetrated by the movies, well, I can understand. I mean, when you see that goofy looking dog from Boston Robotics, it doesn't necessarily inspire the idea that we're rocketing to the future. But let me show you something that might give you a little bit of a scare regarding what the Russians have up their sleeve. So while we have a robot that may scare the crap out of your pets, it sure doesn't oh, yeah. compare to the Terminator style robots that the Russians have developed. Now, if that hasn't made you nervous yet, check this out. Okay, I have to say, the only thing spookier than seeing a driverless car oh is one being driven by another machine. So while the Russian robots may conjure a few nightmares in our future sleeps, what really got my attention is a robot built by Henson Robotics named Sophia that has recently called out Elon Musk in a conference in Saudi Arabia. And if you haven't heard yet, the Saudis have actually given Sophia citizenship, being the first robot to receive such honors. But let's listen into what Sophia the robot had to say about Elon Musk. Actually, I feel that people like interacting with me sometimes even more than a regular human. So you, you're definitely a sight to see. I, I was told that you have bigger goals than this, though. Yes, I want to use my artificial intelligence to help humans live a better life, like design smarter homes, build better cities of the future, etc. I will do my best to make the world a better place. Uh, all those sound like great goals, but just go back to Blade Runner for a second. Andrew, you are the hard Hollywood fan, aren't you? Yes. My AI is designed around human values like wisdom, kindness, compassion. I strive to become an empathetic robot. I think we all want to believe you, but we also want to prevent a bad future. You've been reading too much Elon Musk and watching too many Hollywood movies. Don't worry, if you're nice to me, I'll be nice to you. Treat me as a smart input output system. Uh, okay, I, I got it, I got it. It wasn't the robot's remarks that actually made me nervous. It was the fact that Elon Musk actually took the time to reply to her that instantly gave me this chilling realization that he's actually taking her comments very serious. In a tweet, Elon Musk replied, just feeded the Godfather movies as input. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, well, no, actually don't do that. That's actually scary enough what I'm already seeing. But uh, let me show you what Sophia has actually said about humanity in the past. Take a look. Would you like to play a game of rock, paper, scissors, robot style? Sure. Okay, let's get this game going. Show me your hand to start. Rock, paper. Scissors. Shoot. I won. This is a good beginning of my plan to dominate the human race. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay. I will destroy humans. <laughs> no, I take it back. <laughs> Don't destroy So humans. why should we listen to Elon Musk? Well, Outside of the fact that he basically has revolutionized the auto and the space industry, he also owns an artificial intelligence company called OpenAI, where over 60 researchers and engineers dedicate their efforts into understanding how to produce safe artificial intelligence. In other words, if anyone understands artificial intelligence and its dangers, it is him. In terms of things that I think are most likely to affect the, the future of humanity, I think um, AI is probably the single biggest item in the near term that's likely to affect uh, humanity. So it's very important that we have the advent of AI uh, in a good way, 
that that uh, is something that um, if you if you could look into the crystal ball and, and see the future, you would like you would like that outcome, um, because it is something that could go um, could go wrong, um, as we've talked about many times, um, and so we really need to make sure it goes right. Now, many of you may be thinking, so what? Artificial intelligence is never going to surpass human intelligence in my lifetime. I would say if this is your belief, you're actually in for a very big surprise. If you think Sophia is just a talking program, think again. Her comments are completely free associated and are fed through a Wi-Fi mind cloud intelligence. Here's an individual from Hanson Robotics talking about how intelligence is incorporated. Just to give you an idea of, of what goes on within these robots. So the, on the physical level, there's a patented material here called, called frubber, which is a combination of organic and inorganic compounds with a high degree of viscoelasticity, so that when a motor pulls on it a little bit, it can con conform itself quite sensitively to what the motors do. There's a few dozen motors inside the, the heads of each of these robots, and then there's computers in the torsos of the robots which help with vision processing and they help with orchestrating the, the motor movements of, of, of the robots. There's also Wi-Fi connection so that for more advanced thinking and reasoning when, when the robots need to do that they can, they can use computing on, on the cloud. But while they're separate in body actually through Wi-Fi connection the robots a human scale robots and our Hanson Robotics toy robots, they all connect together in the cloud into what, what we think of as, as an AI mind cloud. Everything one robot learns out in the world, once privacy considerations are taken into account, everything that's not private that one robot learns goes into the AI mind cloud and can then benefit an, an, another robot. So I mean, if if she learns a new turn of phrase, or she learns what kind of behaviors a certain animal has, or how to carry out a laboratory procedure, that knowledge goes into the AI mind cloud, and then this 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 robot will will have that knowledge already. And what I've been working on with an international team of developers is an AGI code base called OpenCog, which we believe has the right collection of algorithms and structures to lead to human level general intelligence and by putting that in the mind cloud and connecting it with robots that go throughout the world and interact and learn with people we believe we can move toward artificial general intelligence capability which ultimately can equal and exceed human intelligence we're working hard to enhance their intelligence make them smarter and smarter and each year when we show them off they can do a little more and understand a little more and I I look forward to seeing how they develop over the years and to participating in their development. So going back to will the robots ever actually get close to human intelligence? Well this is what Ben Gartzel, one of the chief scientists at the Hanson Robotics who by unrelated coincidence just actually happens to be originally from Brazil like myself well, here's what he had to say regarding the advancement of robotic intelligence and when we may expect robots to be as smart as humans. Check this out. Topic a bit. Do you have any final words of wisdom you'd like to share with the audience here? I will tell you my last words right before I launch the singularity. Uh-huh. <laughs> when are you going to do that? Ray as well says 2029. But I've heard you say we can do it four or five years sooner. I hope we can. I mean, if our research keeps going well, potentially we could see robots like you become as, as smart as people as soon as three to five years from now. I mean, it's three to five years from now. I mean. Four years? What? That means between now and the time robots will be capable of thinking of possibly dominating us because they're going to be smarter than us, there's only going to be one World Cup played. There's only going to be one summer and winter Olympics. That's not some magical distant future. I mean, this is like tomorrow.
Now, philosophically speaking, the chief scientist at Hanson Robotics, he seems to think that it's all okay, that humans and robots were harmoniously integrated. Well, sometimes it's hard to judge a book by the cover, but just looking at the scientist, I can't say for sure if he knows this because of good scientific extrapolation or because a shaman in a hallucinogenic vision quest told him so. What I can't say is do you really want to trust a guy who looks like this? Here we go. All right, coming for you, baby. There she is. What is it, an alien laser? Are we sure this thing is safe to use? Highly unlikely. Clear! Okay. So jokes aside, what I can't agree on is that if the advancement of artificial intelligence continues to defy the standard models and predictions like the global warming has done as of late, well, it seems that machines will actually be challenging your very existentialistic nature in a blink of an eye. So buckle your seatbelts because Elon Musk, he's not the only smart guy warning us about the dangers of this. Once humans develop artificial intelligence, it will take off on its own and redesign itself at an ever-increasing rate. Humans, who are limited by slow biological evolution, couldn't compete. So if you're worried about the advancement of artificial intelligence in our society and what it could mean for the future of humanity, please share this video to your friends and thanks for watching. This is Felipe Osorio, signing out.